TV star power couple Sofia Vergara and husband Joe Manganiello made waves in Beverly Park a few months back when they shelled out $26 million on a gigantic estate here. More recently, it's reported the couple had a trespasser lurking in their gated community, claiming to know Sofia's son. They're safe, but let's hope this dude doesn't get past security again. If you're curious, today we're going to take a look at where they call home, like their new mega estate in Beverly Hills, the villa they've spent quarantine at, and more. Sofia Vergara is a Colombian American actress, TV producer, comedian, model and more, who's reigned supreme as the best paid actress on television, knocking out her competition with nearly 300 million in pre-tax earnings. These aren't only from her sitcom earnings, but also the result of high paying endorsement deals and entrepreneurial ventures including a fashion line at Walmart and a furniture collab with Rooms to Go. In 2009, she began playing Gloria in the ABC comedy series Modern Family, which is by far her most well known role, and scored some movie roles over the years too. As of 2020, Sofia is also a judge on America's Got Talent. Her other half, Joe Manganiello. Joe Manganiello, the Joe Manganiello, the Joe Manganiello, the director of. Nah, I forgot which one I was gonna do there. Is an actor who began his film career playing Flash Thompson in Spider Man, but his breakout role was actually as a werewolf in five seasons of HBO's True Blood series. He's also known for his movie roles, especially in the Magic Mike franchises. When he's not flexing his muscles as a male dancer in those movies, Joe is also active with several charities, mainly the UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh, for which he serves on the board of trustees. So he's super fit and has a good heart. I can see why Sophia followed. For him. The couple started dating in 2014 and tied the knot in a lavish ceremony in Florida in November 2015. In a recent interview for People, Joe explained, I knew pretty quickly that I could trust her, and she knew pretty quickly that she could trust me. And now the couple is buying $26 million homes together. How sweet. At the time of this recording, Sophia has an estimated net worth of $180 million, while Joe's is at about $20 million, so I'd say they're doing quite well. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house to our here in Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where famous couple Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello call home, like the new $26 million spread they bought in Beverly Park, the other LA mansion they live at, and more. You guys can rate which one of their homes you like better down in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours and likes of Zoe Saldana and Arnold Schwarzenegger and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into their current homes, let's take a quick look at Joe's previous bachelor pad, if you will. In 2015, around the time he got hitched to Sophia, Joe listed his Hollywood house on the market for just under $2 million. The mid-century modern home was located in the Hollywood Hills just a few short minutes from the Sunset Strip and had a large backyard ideal for entertaining. Joe purchased the house in 2013 for $1.8 million and it was nestled on a quarter acre of land in Nichols Canyon, a hillside area by Mulholland Drive. His neighbors here would have been included the likes of Bruce Willis and Matthew McConaughey, among other A-listers. The canyon has two waterfalls where water spills from the top of Hollywood Hills and trickles downstream. Joe's house spanned 2,500 square feet and featured two fireplaces, top of the line appliances in the updated kitchen and a two car garage. There were four beds and four baths to accommodate the number of house guests. One to four and uh, this is the living space right here. It has a wonderful modern open floor plan and this great contemporary large-scale tile. His previous master suite, which overlooked the pool area, came with a walk-in closet, dressing area, an ensuite bath with large rain shower and separate soaking tub. French doors in the living area open up to the yard where you'll find the beautiful comma-shaped pool complete with water feature and a hot tub. There were lush plants, a stone patio, a fire pit, and even a built-in barbecue. I'll also turn around here so you can see all of these doors. Um, from the master, from the dining room, that uh, all open up to this incredible, incredible environment. 
Joe's home may have been the perfect bachelor pad, which is perhaps why he left it behind. Once he and Sophia joined forces, they definitely upgraded. Aside from the home that the successful couple recently snagged in the nicest neighborhood of all, Sophia continues to maintain her starter home in Beverly Hills, just two miles down from the new mansion. She picked up this property in 2014 for $10.6 million prior to her marriage and has recently been living the quarantine lifestyle there. Which means we can consider this house Joe's now as well, you know, since they're married and all. Yes, that's Sophia and her niece posting a bit of a thirst trap on Instagram. The family also enjoyed a barbecue at the home the same day, which we can see in the less thirsty photos. Anyways, back to the house. Prior to this place, Sophia lived in a $1 million condo near Century City, LA. So when she dropped 10 times that on this villa, you know it was a big deal. This Italian style mansion is celebrity size, spanning 11,400 square feet with seven beds and 11 baths. It's fully gated and in an exclusive community, sitting on 0.6 of an acre parcel of land. A pair of cypress trees stand on either side of the front door that opens to the double height dramatic entry hall with soaring ceilings and a floating iron staircase. There are common spaces like a fireplace, formal living room, and formal dining room, both of which are placed next to a wood paneled study with exposed beam ceiling and built in bookcases. Also, on the main level of Sophia's home are one of the guest suites and the spacious chef's kitchen with breakfast nook. Upstairs, her master suite is fit for a queen. Well, king and queen, I should say. Considering there are separate his and hers baths and walk in closets. Other features of this home include and are not limited to a third level with bar dedicated to entertaining, a 3,000 bottle wine cellar and wine tasting room, a movie theater, card room, gym with sauna, two maids rooms, and a large second floor terrace with fireplace. Although the yard isn't especially large, it is a covered dining space and a second dining area with built-in barbecue station, which I believe we saw in the pics. Of course, there was enough space left over for a swimming pool and spa as well. Not to mention since moving in, Sophia decorated the mansion to suit her taste. Her home offers family style furniture and in other rooms, more elegant pieces. But one thing's for sure, it's full of design inspiration. She also loves entertaining and hosting friends and family, so she made sure her villa was perfect for that. Considering Sophia and Joe reportedly spent quarantine at this home rather than their new mansion, it's thought that the creepy trespassing incident occurred here as per TMZ. At least they can hide at the new mansion now. At the beginning of the summer, it was reported that the star couple snagged the former Beverly Hills mansion of baseball legend Barry Bonds. They paid a whopping $26 million to close on the European style estate, and it's located in the much coveted, private, gated community of Beverly Park. If you watch this channel, you've heard of the neighborhood before because Beverly Park is awash with A-list celebrities and the most expensive homes you ever did see. Some others who live here include the likes of Denzel Washington, Eddie Murphy, and Mark Wahlberg, just to name a few. While the 70 or so homes in Beverly Park tend to rarely change hands, Sophia and Joe's mansion is familiar with the real estate rodeo, having no less than five owners in the past six years alone. But whatever way you spin it, the home is breathtaking. Originally built in 1999, the sprawling compound measures in at about 17,000 square feet, set on two acres of land and divided between the main house, a guest house, and a poolside cabana. There's said to be six beds and about 10 baths here. Although listing photos aren't available for every room in the mansion, we can see the place is decked out in crystal chandeliers, silk carpeting, and imported limestone. Or at least it used to be. Sophia and Joe will also enjoy a massive kitchen, painted a surprisingly light shade of lavender, an art deco style wet bar, a huge home gym, and a gorgeous master suite with his and hers bathrooms and dressing rooms. Downstairs, there's a cavernous movie theater with gold accents and hand stenciled ceilings. Can you say fancy? The couple's gated property has perfectly manicured grounds, which report designed to embody the gardens of a palatial estate in Italy. There are emerald green lawns, olive trees, and pathways leading past stone fountains. There's also a Grecian-inspired pool and surrounding patio, while elsewhere the yard offers a sports court. All in all, Sophia and Joe got their hands on a property designed for some grand-scale entertaining or just some indulgent family time. So I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. After looking at power couples Sophia Vergara and Joe Manganiello's homes, including their two properties, both in Beverly Hills, what did you think? Be sure to rate the three houses in the comments down below or pick your fate. Honestly, the two mansions they own at the moment kind of look the same to me. They're both 
both Tuscan style villas and they're both absolutely massive. I also recently did a house tour of my place on my personal channel and while it's not even close to 17,000 square feet or even a fraction of that, I still like it. So we'll link you to my latest video and please like and subscribe to my personal channel. This is it, we're all moved in. Clearly it looks like I'm already living here. And this apartment didn't actually come with an island, the old kitchen did. So I had to order one, but I'm absolutely in love with this one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.